गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर कंप्यूटर क्लास सो एज वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द चैप्टर सर्विसेज ऑफ इंटरनेट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव एक्सरसाइज सेशन एंड आई होप द थिंग्स आर क्लियर टू यू बट देन ऑल्सो वी विल जस्ट हैव अ क्विक रिविजन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एंड देन विल स्टार्ट विथ अवर एक्सरसाइज सो लेट्स सी स्टूडेंट्स दैट services of internet okay the chapter name and the topics which we have covered in the chapter are internet world wide web protection yourself on the web okay entertainment on the web you have also seen what are the entertainment things just like music videos players these all things how you can protect yourself from spyware viruses world wide web sharing photos on flickr and picasa social networking just like facebook blogging blogger.com whatsapp messenger web app like google documents video conferencing ftp file transfer protocol and e-commerce <clears throat> these topics we had covered so let's begin a small a quick revision like internet okay so what is internet so internet is a vast world wide network that enables you to read the latest news conduct research shop communicate listen to music playing games and access a wide variety of internet information so we can also say that the internet consists of many local regional and international network although each of these networks on the internet is owned by public or private organization no one knows exactly how many computers are connected okay so it provides a good services tremendous source of goods are there services information and communication these all come from the internet so things you can do on the internet what are the things you can do on the internet so the things which you can do on the internet are stay informed whatever information you want you can get it from internet you means you are updated such as newspapers magazines having websites number of magazines exist online only now conduct researches for your project work for your presentations for your homeworks whatever information on the topic which you want you are not getting in the book also you can get it from the internet electronic mail all of you are aware of that electronic mail enables us to exchange messages with the people around the world including friends family members colleagues customers okay and the persons whom we don't know also okay or even meet people on a internet instant it is a exciting feature on the top of that you can say it is quite fast easy and very economical next one is your entertainment entertainment if you talk about the entertainment it provides you to download music video broadcast radio television films live interviews of your favorite celebrities these all things programs you can find thousand programs to be used on computers such as word processor drawing program games accounting program these all things we had already discussed in the chapter okay buy and selling of books cds flowers dvds used cars these all also included in internet chat again this feature allows you to exchange the type message with another person on the internet socialize with others you can join discussion groups forums different forums and have a topic on food humor music photography politics religion sports movies and many others share information you can use the web to create and share information for example you can create your own website and share detailed and shit you can play online games okay many games are there like saucer is there football baseball battle with aliens play backmon and checkers these all things you are getting on internet okay now next what is world wide web okay so world wide web or simply the web you can say massive storehouse of information that resides in computers called web service or web servers okay so all the informations are stored in it it is a storehouse server has all the information collection all over the world so each web server has one or more web sites and each of these sites contain million documents that called web pages so the method of navigating through pages of information is called browsing and surf, uh, surfing and the words or phrases which you 
click in this or write it images called links or entering the address of the site page you want to view now in this you have seen many some subtopics web page web page is a document of the web web pages can include a collection of text image sound and video now website it is a collection of related pages maintained by college universities government agencies company organization or an individual web server again server is a computer that stores web pages and makes the pages available for the people who refer to it you are in uniform resource locator it has a unique address which always you want if you directly go to the site you must have a url html hypertext markup language this is a computer language which is used to create web pages now talk about links so contain links which highlighted the text images or web page that are connected to the other pages you can select to display a web page located on the same computer so for this you create a link link is also known as hyperlink web browsers like mozilla firefox google chrome internet explorer okay these are the popular web browsers it allows you to view and explore information on the web these are there okay home page okay the starting page of a website is called home page it is similar to a it is similar to a book cover or a table contents for a website so this also i had explained you in brief also many sites allow us to you personalize the home page so that it protect the areas of interest now protecting yourself on the web okay so spyware viruses these two so remember this two always spyware software program that gets installed on your computer without your knowledge or consent okay so remember this you even don't know okay so this program secretly gather data from your computer steals your password displays advertisements and takes control of your web browser so you need a spyware program okay anti spyware program you must install in your computer viruses vital information resource under siege deliberately to damage data can badly affect your computer without your knowledge alter the working of the computer once a virus in your computer your files and operating system may be damaged okay so hard disk crashing of your computer hijacking your computer attack other computer these are done by the viruses and viruses attach themselves to a program file and move them from one disk to another so if you want to block these viruses again you have to need a antivirus program okay so pop up ads save passwords cookies and secure site indicators okay so pop up ads you know i have told you it is sort of information advertisement which disturb you while browsing okay so while browsing appear in a separate browser window on the top of the your current window so you can just use a pop up blocker in the browser save password never save passwords on the sites you are visiting okay because it can be executed by someone else okay by a third party who can just hack your passwords from your websites okay your computer access site they you should click no whenever your browser asks to remember a password cookies are the small text messages which stores your computer to keep track of the websites which you are visiting cookies can also store username passwords as well as your credit card details if possible tell the site not to save this data secure site indicators you have a lock key as you can see okay before http a lock sign which shows that it is secure if the lock is open that the site is not secure so please alert while searching the on the web so these things are mentioned over here now entertainment on the web very simple digital music file mp3 online music store listening to music streaming media internet radio and youtube this i have told you in the previous videos now sharing photo on the web you can share your digital photograph with friends family even strangers after signing up again we are getting many apps today for editing and formatting the pictures but for saving the picture you are having two popular flickr and picasa web albums picasa provide you 1 gb storage after that you have to upgrade yourself and flickr allow you 1000 gb photos after that you have to pro upgrade to a pro account for getting more unlimited storage on flickr so here you can store your photo and create albums also now web app web app it provides you the cloud storage like google document is there data on the server 
and it keeps whenever you required it it shows you okay after that it includes advertisements in the free version and charge for an advertisement free version okay social networking facebook just same social networking sites the members are connected to each other as friends and friends of friends so on so their main purpose of using social networking site is to keep track of what is going on in the lives of our family friends colleagues especially the people whom you don't meet regularly it also help us to expand the circle of friends so facebook and myspace are boosting nowadays blogging okay whatever opinion advice you are having about any topic okay stories you can publish it on the page and next the subject is the person writing the blog okay and the entries that appear on the blog are called post and the act of public in the way of publishing is called posting and the person who is maintaining many blogs are known as blogger so different blogger sites are also given blogger.com typepad twitter.com whatsapp messenger i don't have to tell you much you know it is a messaging app through which you can send the pictures audios videos documents to your contacts okay you can also do video conferencing so these are there now video conferencing is a meeting between two or more geographically separated people who use a network or in the internet transmit audio video data it is a live connection between people in multiple location that provides full motion video images high quality audio these also we have discussed in online class also ftp is a protocol file transfer protocol which helps in uploading and downloading of the files and last e-commerce electronic commerce which consists of three types business to consumer consumer to consumer and business to business it consists of retail trade and all the things which are coming in this are in the e-commerce you can say consumer inside shopping and auction finance travel entertainment and health like medical medicines also are available on the net entertainment also traveling also finance also auction and shopping these all things are also done in a e-commerce okay so this is a small quick revision about your chapter and here we comes to the self evaluation part i know that a web browser is a computer that stores web pages makes the pages available on the web for the people yes i agree with this okay i know the spyware is a software program that gets installed on your computer without our knowledge yes that is okay just we have read the definition cookies a small text message that a web browser stores on your computer to keep track of websites very true i know that flickr and pikasha are currently the most popular photo sites sharing sites true means correct i know the blog is a website that consists of frequently updated collection of entry yes blog collects the updated entries okay which have come latest okay if anyone has given advice opinion or writing stories it update daily whatsapp is a mobile messenger app available for smartphones android phones and e-commerce sometimes called e-business okay this is self evaluation part so now finally we have came to the exercise and our first question is take the correct answer so a collection of web pages is called who collects the web pages so a collection of web pages is called website okay website is a collection of web pages okay home page is the front page of the website and web server collects one or more websites okay it is a whole storehouse unique address of a web page is known as html you can't say because it is a language which helps to make a web page website you can't say because the first one you have said website is a collection of web pages so simple uniform uh, source locator url a small text message that a web browser stores on a computer to keep track of websites okay which one so again spyware cannot be there it is a type of virus pop up ad it is also disturbs cookies software that installs on your computer without your consent spyware install in your computer without your consent okay and it steals your information and data fill in the blanks the dash enables you to exchange messages with people around the world so here the answer is email email enables us okay 
सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज डैश आर द प्रोग्राम विच आर क्रिएटेड डेलीबेटेड डैमेज योर डेटा वेरी नोन टू यू ऑल टू डैमेज अवर डेटा सिस्टम हार्ड डिस्क वी हैव वायरसेज आर द प्रोग्राम्स ओके YouTube is one of the most popular sites on the web for providing what video sharing service okay video sharing service dash or dash is a method of navigating through pages of information how you can navigate through pages because of browsing ओके हियर एंड सर्फिंग अ डैश इज अ डॉक्यूमेंट ऑफ द वेब सो विच इज द डॉक्यूमेंट ऑफ द वेब वेब पेज वेब पेज इज द डॉक्यूमेंट ऑन द वेब single person who maintains many blog is known as just we have seen that a person who maintains many blogs are known as blogger and the starting page of a browser is called very simple home page clear so once again i am showing you the first one is your email second one is your viruses third one is video browsing surfing वेब पेज ब्लॉगर होम पेज आई होप क्लियर टू यू ऑल नाउ वी आर कमिंग टू दर्ड क्वेश्चन डिफाइन द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स ओके सो फर्स्ट वन इज ब्लॉगर सो ब्लॉगर यू कैन राइट इट फ्रॉम हियर ऑल्सो अ सिंगल पर्सन हु मेंटेन्स मेनी ब्लॉग्स इज नोन एज ब्लॉगर ओके ए वायरस ओके वायरस ऑल्सो यू कैन राइट virus are the programs which are created deliberately to damage our data to steal information damage hard disk okay the files in our system third one is a web page web page is a document on the web okay web page is the document on the web and else you can write it from here also Web page is a document. Ah, web pages can include a collection of text, image, sound, and video. Still here. Okay. Till here to here, you can write. Coming to the next topic, social networking. Okay. Now you have seen the web page. Now social net uh, networking, WhatsApp, Messenger, YouTube. Okay. So let's see to it. you will get the answer okay social networking on this page social networking okay what is social networking so you have to define so it is a service on the internet that enables you to connect with people who share similar personal or professional interest okay and the main purpose of using social networking sites is to keep track of what is going in the lives of friends families and colleagues especially the people whom you do not meet regularly only this much you have to write in defining that okay simple now next one was your whatsapp messenger so you will get here again whatsapp messenger whatsapp messenger is a mobile messaging app available for smartphones whatsapp uses your phones internet connection to message call friends and family only this much is okay okay or else if you want to write the more then you can just add one word for receive messages call photos and audio and voice messages these you can write in this defining okay and the last one was i think uh, what was that let me see yeah youtube so about youtube also you can define here it is given it is a video sharing service that is one of the most popular sites on the web 
YouTube offers 10 millions of videos as well as movie trailers, commercial clips from TV shows and much more. Okay. This you can write in that. And to upload videos, you need to create a YouTube account or sign in with your Google account if you have one. Okay. So it is a video developing site. And if you want to develop or share your videos on the YouTube, you have to upload it through your YouTube account or sign in with your Google account. I hope the answers are clear to you. Now next is your after defining the term true false. Okay. So let's see the true false. Internet is the smallest network used at home. <coughs> is it the correct one? No. So the answer is wrong. False. I am crossing and putting a tick mark but you have to write false in place of x okay the chat feature allows you to exchange the typed message with one another on the internet yes it's true okay the chat feature allows us to share the typed message so it is true means tick the electronic mail enables us to exchange message with people around the world. True. A website is a document on the web. Yes, you have read that a website is a document on the web. It is about web. Sorry, 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 sorry. A website is a document on the web. It's false. Web page is a document on the web. Okay. Yeah web page here it is written web page okay web page is a document on the web not website mozilla firefox is a popular web browser true mozilla firefox is a popular web browser and facebook and myspace are popular social networking sites true so first answer is your false second is true third one is true fourth one is false fifth one is true and sixth one is true clear now coming to the question answers what is internet why is it important so let's see on the first page itself of the chapter internet is vast worldwide network that enables you to read latest news conduct research shops to communicate listen music playing games access a wide variety of information okay okay and next question is why is it important so in the importance you can write the main advantage of the internet is that you can access it from a computer anywhere at home at work at school or at a, a restaurant so that is why it is important okay through which we can communicate through the world okay so this is the answer number one of the question answers okay till here information and now from the importance you will write from here to here okay second question is what are the different uses of internet okay so if you find what are the different uses of internet so things to do on the internet are the uses so here you can write from here stay informed conduct research email or you can simply write here okay the different uses of internet are that reading news searching information chatting with other people making friends sharing data and information shopping banking playing games and listening to the music and watching movies okay these are the uses of internet this is answer number two okay you can see it okay here also answer number two what 
वॉट आर द डिफरेंट यूज ऑफ इंटरनेट ओके सो चैटिंग शॉपिंग फाइनेंस ट्रैवलिंग लिसनिंग म्यूजिक डाउनलोडिंग अपलोडिंग वीडियोज दीज ऑल मैनी यूजेज आर देयर इंटरनेट ओके ना नेक्स्ट वन इज वॉट इज ब्लॉगिंग एंड फोर्थ वन इज वॉट आर कुकीज ओके सो वॉट इज ब्लॉगिंग एंड वॉट आर कुकीज लेट सी इट ब्लॉगिंग ब्लॉगिंग इज एन एक्साइटिंग और यू कैन राइट ओके फ्रॉम हेयर ओनली फर्स्ट लाइन विल बी ब्लॉग्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज वेब ब्लॉग्स दिस यू विल राइट फ्लस्ट देन ब्लॉगिंग इज एन एक्साइटिंग एंड डायनेमिक मीडियम बाय विच यू कैन पब्लिश योर आइडियाज opinions and a story online with millions of blogs available on the internet you can read with what others have published okay this also you include in this so this is the blogging okay so what is blogging then blogging is exciting and dynamic medium by which you can publish your ideas opinions and stories online and blogs are also known as web blogs now next one is cookies what are cookies this is your answer number 3 okay This is your answer number three. Now answer number four. What are cookies? So you will get in this cookies. Here's answer number four. Cookies. It is a small text that a web browser stores on your computer to keep track of websites. Cookies can also store username, passwords, as well as your credit card data. Okay, so this is enough for what is cookies. So it is a small text that web browser stores on our computer to keep track of websites, and it also store username, password, as well as credit card data. Clear? Now next question is what is a spyware? How can we protect our computer from a spyware? So just above this you can see the fifth answer. Okay. Spyware is a software program that gets installed on your computer without your knowledge or consent. This program secretly gathers data from your computer and steals your password, displays advertisement and takes control all your web browser the second part says ki how can we protect our computer from a spyware so we can protect our computer from a spyware by installing an anti spyware program okay the second part answer second part answer okay until here until here the browser okay this is your first part okay and answer number 5 that means e or you can say 5 this is answer number 5 now 6 difference between downloading and uploading of data from internet downloading and uploading of data from internet so this you can get it from here think it is given over here surfing i think this questions answer is not given in your book but i am telling you you will write in your copy downloading means okay when a user downloads something from the server to his computer is known as downloading okay when you download something from the server to your computer is known as downloading and when you upload something or you can get this answer i think it is given in ftp okay i have seen somewhere ftp yeah here okay uploading is the process of transferring files from your computer to a server on the internet and downloading is the process of transferring file from a server on internet to your computer that's what i am telling you that transferring downloading files from server to your computer and from your computer to the server 
ओके सो दैट इज डाउनलोडिंग एंड अपलोडिंग ऑफ थिंग्स ओके ओके सो दिस आंसर इज आल्सो कंप्लीटेड नॉन नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज ई कॉमर्स ओके सो आई थिंक दिस क्वेश्चन इज योर earlier was 6th this is the answer number 6 and e-commerce is the 7th one electronic commerce sometimes called e-business it is a financial business transaction that occurs over electronic network okay anyone with a computer connected with internet and means to play credit card etc for purchasing goods and services participate in e-commerce so it just asked about what is e-commerce so till here you have to write okay you can write one more line three types of e-commerce are here b to c c to c and b to b okay and the last question is what is ftp so question number a file transfer protocol is an internet internet is standard that permits file uploading and downloading to end from the other computers on the internet this is the answer of ftp the last question number end Okay, students. So here we have completed the question answers exercise session of the services of internet. Okay. So we'll meet with the next chapter. Till then, thank you.